how to do your social media content in one day. So I have an amazing guide that you can get that I will put down below and it actually outlines how I did this. Now, just with two recordings, two videos that I sat down and did and I created actually about three months of content. So let's talk about how you can repurpose your podcast. So let's say you do a podcast. How can you amplify this content so that more people are aware of it and so that your message gets out and you're everywhere, right? As the expert, this is what you should do. Number one, you should record your podcast on video as well as audio. This is going to allow you to create a YouTube video. So then all of a sudden you've got a YouTube video and you have a podcast. Then you can create clips from that YouTube video and turn it into social media posts. You can probably see where I'm going with it. Then you're going to take quotes from the podcast and you're gonna create quotes and graphics. You're gonna create some tweaks. Then you're going to transcribe it and you're going to turn that into a blog post. Now you have a blog post, you have a podcast, you have a video, you've got video clips, you're everywhere, right? And you can be posting three times a day just by doing one piece of content. So as you go through and write your copy, you're gonna to want to mention your product name at least two times. It's gonna be very, very helpful for you to have a product name that speaks to the results that people are going to get. So that's one thing that I would suggest in naming your products or services. Just the temptation to talk about the how it works and focus on what it does. Focus on the transformation. Focus on what they're going to experience as a result of your product or service. So your solution isn't, okay, I've got five video, like if you're selling a course, and I've got five videos and 24 downloads and all of this, and we're gonna go and spend X, Y, and Z amount of time going through it? No, it should be, this is the result that you're going to get. This is the transformation you're gonna experience in your life, in your business, whatever it is. Establish your authority. Now it's really important here not to brag, not to go into you know, your degrees, your accomplishments, how wonderful you are, if it's not directly related to that product or service. So the first thing you wanna do is choose a top search word by typing in your YouTube search or uh, search with Google Keyword Planner. Now, if you wanna to try to get your videos to the top of Google, which I highly recommend, because you're gonna get likely more search volume there, go to the Google Keyword Planner and uh, you can go in YouTube to get ideas. So let's say, go to your competitor's YouTube channel that's doing really well. Sort their videos by the most popular. You're then going to actually see the most popular video and you can get ideas around the SEO that you're gonna try to rank for, you're gonna try to create that content. Take those keywords, go to Google Keyword Planner, put them in, check the search volume. You want something with high search volume with low competition. So I always like to provide this slide in my training around social media to rethink social media and rethink LinkedIn. Think of it as a giant networking event, an ecosystem, a proving ground, and your profile is equivalent to your website homepage. The top mistakes that people will make when it comes to any type of social media platform is not having a strong, clear focus. They have no content st uh, strategy and they don't have any testing or optimization. There's no engagement strategy. They're not encouraging their audience to take action. There's no posting plan. Consistency is key. And uh, there's no authenticity, not being uh, social. It's a social platform, not fully engaging in the platform. And I would add to this personally viral funneling, which is one of my most passionate topics that we're going to dive in today as well. You want to make sure that your posts help reach your goals. And so how do you know if they're going to reach your goals? Well, you've got to start with setting some goals. So let's dive into the LinkedIn algorithm. So key algorithm factors to boost your content's visibility is going to be personal connections, interest relevance, engagement probability, and we're gonna dive into the engagement probability, dwell time, watch time, that's diversify your posts, try a mix of images, text only, videos, slides, etc. Connect and engage with influencers. 
influential users engage with your post. The algorithm loves that. 5% of all members publish content on LinkedIn. Almost 19% engages with the content. 64% is the is only out there to read and consume your content of building the, the formula. You start with the hook. Somewhere an executive would love this. That could be a great hook that's curiosity. And that's a way to find your ideal clients. Conversation starters. So people use polls and other conversation starters for lead generation. And basically what they'll do is, is they'll post a poll and then they'll take that link to the poll and they go into their con contacts and you can send multiple messages and you can add other countries as well. The goal is going to be here to get this number over here to between 500,000 to 2 million. It, it go through here and you can edit them for each placement if you would like. So if I wanted to go in here, this is Facebook stories and see how it looks. And then I can actually, you know, change the text on it and everything.